morning, YouTube. It's a pleasure to be with you again this morning. I am making a second video um, because yesterday I had an appointment to go to in the morning and I was not able to fulfill my daily devotion yesterday. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the video that I was going to do yesterday today. So I want to talk about cheating. Now, this is such a fun topic because. To let our hair down and we can talk about even cheating in relationships, cheating whenever you cheat, but specifically what I am talking about today is being in relationships and it was something that I had no clue that the Bible even talked about. But this is so fun, guys. If you would just listen and we'll get right into the word. What does the Bible got to say about cheating? Okay. It says in James chapter 4 verse 17, it says, So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. So whatever you know that is right to do, but you go against what you know is right to do, like cheating, then for you... It is, okay, if Proverbs 12, 22 says, lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. That's, that's tough. You are an abomination to the Lord if you just keep lying. I did not know that. If you just keep on lying and saying, well, you know, I was doing this. Or, you know, that, that's lying. And lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. But those who act faithfully are his delight. Not saying that if you're saved that he won't help you with your lying lips. Because then when you're saved, you're saved from abomination. Because then God will help you with uh, where you're weak. So this is not pertaining really to uh, be unfaithful. Best believe God is not mocked. So whatsoever a man soweth. That also shall he reap. So I'm cheating on my spouse and I'm planting that seed. And when that plant starts to grow in my life, then what it's going to be is nothing but somebody cheating back on me. Even though, no ladies, that's probably why we have so many problems. Because we, as women, men lie and women lie. And women, you know, if you go out and you cheat on, your, on the, somebody that you supposed to be sex with you and somebody cheats her back on you like after that relationship don't want you know that's why it's always good to ask God to forgive us even when come on now let's just keep it real let's keep the scriptures going so if that's the case then everybody cheat because everybody who is not faithful to God you a cheater and you cheat that's just the bottom line okay uh, Colossians 3 9 it says do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with his practices. And then Luke 16, 10, 12 says, One who is faithful in very little is also faithful in much. And one who is dishonest in very little is also dishonest in much. If then you have been faithful in the righteous wealth, unrighteous wealth, you will entrust to you true riches. And if you have been faithful in that which is another, who will give you which is your own? Okay. And Luke 6.31 says, And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. So that is very important because however you want to be treated, however you wish this person wants to treat you, then you got to treat that person how you want to be treated. And in Matthew chapter 5, verse 27, says, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Proverbs 10, 9 says, Whoever walks in the temple walks securely. But he who makes his way crooked will be found out. So if you walk in integrity, you're keeping things real, you're not feeling somebody, you let them know instead of cheating on them, you walk for right, then you will be secure when you walk. But if you walk crooked and you like trying to, you know, be manipulative, lie, and cheat, 
then you will be found out. It's not a you might think that you're not gonna be found out. You you might be like, you know, I had situations where I was cheating and I didn't find they didn't find out. So I know that scripture is a lie. We think that we didn't find out. Even our intuition would tell us that she was cheating. So it is what it is. Okay, Proverbs twenty twenty two says, Do not say I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord and He will deliver you. So if you've been cheated on, do not think you're gonna have to get revenge. Wait on the Lord and He will deliver you. Isn't that nice to know that even in in those type of conditions, uh cheating that God is still there for us and He still has a word even when it comes to something so so simple as this. So thank you for enjoying this time with me and I'll be glad to see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Oh yeah. Here's my heart. I don't know what he's doing. Bye, Facebook. Uh, because then that stops uh, the seed from growing into the next relationship. And then they, it stops, you know, uh, maybe from them from cheating. But I got one important thing. If you can't be faithful to God, then you're really not going to be faithful to a person.